Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So the universe is preparing you for this. This what? What is the universe preparing you for? What is this exactly? We have three groups to select from. Group number one, elephant. Number two, black egg. Number three, cheetah energy. Uh, pause the video if you have to to see which group is calling to you so that you could get into the reading to see what the universe is preparing you for exactly. Timestamps are always in the description box below. Let's get into the reading. Hello, group number one. You guys selected the elephant energy and immediately upon looking at the elephant energy, uh, what came to mind is that the universe is preparing you for a journey, preparing you for the kind of journey where there won't be a lot of breaks in between. What I mean by that is I think about, say, going on a road trip and getting to a certain part of the road where it's like you need to get gas and stop at the rest stop and do whatever it is that you need to do because there'll be a stretch of road where you're not able to turn around. Uh, you might be able to stop on the side of the road, yes, but you can't, you can't uh, get gas or anything for a while, for a nice stretch. And that's what you guys are being prepared for. So in this moment, you guys may have been going through some resting phase. I know for most of us, this year, 2023, feels like a long resting space. So some of you may have felt like you've been resting or things have been on hold. And basically, you guys are in a resting space as you're being prepared for what's next. And when it comes to say resting space, because most of us are so used to wanting to be productive or needing to be productive, instead of like, say how this uh, emerald or this uh, red stone is at the third eye of the elephant, instead of some of us trusting into our intuition and getting quiet to see what is needed in this moment where things are still, because in, 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 in nature, everything works on a system. Everything works on a cycle. So there's a time when we do nothing. There's a time when we farm, when we put work in. But we've gotten so used to being busy, 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 where in times when we're meant to be still, instead of gaining our energy or getting our strength up, you know, instead we want to be busy, want to be doing something just for the sake of doing it. And when it comes to this group with the elephant energy, I'm getting the feeling that um, some of the ways that you could be making the most of this resting face that you're in is say some people, it might be reflecting on your financial situation and becoming better money managers of your financial situation. For others, it might be your time becoming better managers of your time, the different things that you give your time away to and how some of you might find yourself feeling exhausted and overwhelmed as your back's against the wall and everything has piled up on you. Uh, because when it comes to this long stretch, that you know you'll be experienced where you're going to be busy on this journey or focused on this thing for some of you it's that you might be going back to school and that's what's going to be taking a lot of your attention 
and keeping you focused on this long journey. Or for some of you, things business are going is going to start to speed up. You know, at work, maybe things have been slow, but things are going to start to speed up. So it's like you want to enjoy or make the most of the resting phase or the intersection. Some of you guys are at a crossroads and you feel like you don't know where to go or what to do. But when it's time to go, you'll know where to go because you will be moving in one direction or the next when it's all said and done. But right now, the universe is preparing you. I think about how when we stop at a rest stop, it's time for us to relieve ourselves. It's time for us to get some food, um, gather food, gather resources. And when it comes to food, it could be physical food that we're eating or just information that we're consuming in order to add more value to our lives, in order to make our experiences easier. Um, Mercury came up twice. So information, communication is a big thing. So a way to prepare when it comes to this group is, and the number seven came out. So, you know, in relations to others, maybe your communication style is something that you need to work on. It's something that you need to get better at. Um, some of you might find yourself in situations where it feels like people don't listen to you or people don't respect your opinion or things like that. And I find that when I'm doing natal chart readings, a lot of the times they're, uh, the person's Mercury and their sun is separated in two different signs or two different houses or in the same sign but it's so far apart so where a person might do a lot of thinking but don't express themselves as much as they think so there's misunderstanding and that could be the root or the conflict that people experience we have aries energy here so with aries energy aries energy brings me to say maybe come uh impulsive or even uh brings me to impulsive behavior um, when it comes to say interacting with each uh, with others or even com a competitive nature for some and when it comes to a lot of us it's like we were taught to determine our self-worth through different things for some people self-worth comes from you know what they own others what they do for people what people think of them and for uh, and for um, some of us it's competition if we're not winning at life or winning in relation to our peers our peers it's like we're not worthy we're not enough so it's like okay you know you scored a b plus on your test but you know your bestie or someone else you know that's close to you they scored an a plus and it's almost like your b plus doesn't matter or isn't enough isn't good enough because it's it's not higher than you know your bestie and that this doesn't go for everyone and for those people who struggle with that it's not that it's not that these people are bad people it's just that you know some of us were raised in households that are very competitive and we're left to you know feel like our worth comes from comes from you know how how if we're winning or not so when it comes to this group to me you the universe is preparing you for this long journey long journey meaning maybe your work is going to get really busy or maybe you're starting school but you're getting ready to start something you're at the crossroads and you're getting ready to start something and i'm getting for some people the next three months for others it might be the next three weeks next three days but there's something significant about the number three and how you prepare in this moment is to become a better communicator is what i'm getting to become a better communicator and to pace yourself when it comes to your interactions with people and to realize um say different things that you might use to determine your self-worth when really we're worthy just because we exist is enough is is pretty much what it comes down to we're worthy because of our existence and you know for nothing else and of course you know we assign all these other meanings to determine self-worth but just from the simple fact that the creator chose for us to exist says it all when it comes to say overall um what the universe is preparing you for the universe is preparing you to let go to let go of um things from the past so for some of you, you could find yourself, um, you know, whenever you get triggered or upset, you know, find yourself revisiting the past 
or revisiting certain conversations that hurt. And it's almost like looping. Like I, I, I see a person looping and always, you know, it's like having a hard time releasing and letting go of what is. So yes, you may have had some experiences where, you know, you were stabbed in the back or you were disappointed. And it's like from those experiences, you might find yourself um, wanting other people to either prove that they won't do that to you or not even allowing yourself to be available to trust or interact with people on that level at all. But for me, it comes down to say boundaries and learning from the past experiences and realizing that yes, certain things happen in the past, but it comes down to say us learning from that and learning how to show up in present situations, learning how to show up in present situations in the sense that, um, I think about myself and all the times that I, that I was betrayed or disappointed and how my, you know, how being betrayed or disappointed, uh, how there were signs. And I chose to overlook the signs because it was beneficial for me to believe or see whatever I needed to see at that moment. Or there were situations where I was completely oblivious to the signs and that's okay. But through everything that I've been through, you know, it helped me to understand myself on a deeper level. And when it comes to say interacting with others, you know, I've learned to interact with others with boundaries, like there are stages and, um, with me getting to know people so I can pace myself and not project and assume that everybody is a best friend or whatever, but instead, you know, step by step pacing myself because with the Aries energy here with the number seven, some of you may have jumped into certain situations in the past. And then from jumping in, there was the pain and the disappointment, but at the same time, like, you know, you never allowed yourself enough time to really get to know a person or to really get to see the situation for all that it is. So for us to feel like, you know, to, for us to feel like, okay, you know, I'm locking out the world or I'm cutting off everyone or this, that, or the next because of this experience, like that's not fair when we think about how we even got into that situation in the first place. When it comes to say challenges, we have the high priestess energy. So with the high priest here as a challenge, to me, this goes back to what I was mentioning about with the, the, the ruby or the stone in the third eye of the elephant and how we have, a, um, when it comes to challenges for this group, a hard time trusting one's intuition, a hard time going within and being still to learn what, how to make the most of this resting phase as you're about to go on this journey or pursue this thing. Um, when it comes to say unexpected, we have the 10 of pentacles in the upright position. So with the 10 of pentacles in the upright position dealing with unexpected, there will be some kind of a sacrifice when it comes to this journey that you're going to go on. And when I say sacrifice, what I mean by that is, you know, when it's all said and done, this thing might deliver, um, might pay really well. But in return, what you might sacrifice is, say, family time. I think of, say, the person who considers planning a family or having their own family who doesn't already have one. And, you know, they're putting their career first. So it's like, yeah, they're going to make all this money, but they're sacrificing and not having this family at this time. Or for those of you who have a family, you might be sacrificing time away from your family when it comes to this journey, this path, this thing that you're about to go on. But um, what's coming to mind is that it doesn't have to be that way when it comes to the family. It could be that you pace yourself and you know you pace yourself and schedule time to reach out so you can keep those connections when it comes to this group i'm just getting you're entering into a intersection or, or a crossroads you're entering into a new path in your life where things are going to get really busy for a long time is what i'm getting is like going on this path and before you go you want to be prepared because depending on how prepared you are now will determine your experience when you start on this path. This brings me back to like being in the beauty industry and how we'll have seasons. We'll have moments when things slow down. And when things slow down, I remember when I was new to the industry and things will slow down, I would start to panic and think if I should get a job or not. But of course, like the idea of getting another job, like that would never happen, but I would entertain the thought and start looking at other possibilities. And in the process of me doing that, you know, things eventually start speeding up and then things will speed up to the point where my phone is always ringing off the hook to the point that I got an attitude 
you know, when people are hitting me up to spend money, but it's like, it felt like I couldn't catch a break because I'm in the salon long hours. And at the end of the day, my feet are throbbing. I'm hitting the bed every night with my feet throbbing. And it's like, I should have been using that time off to rest my mind, that time off to relax, that time off to look into getting better shoes so that when things get busy, you know, I'm able to be even more efficient, that time off to look into nutrients, vitamins and different things to get my strength up. So those are some things that I should have been looking into, but instead, you know, I was obsessing over how slow things are. Um, when I should have been resting. When it comes to blessings, we have the two of swords in the upright position. And the two of swords in the upright position as a blessing is that you don't have to make a decision or choose. You might feel like you have to choose something. But what Spirit is showing me is that you don't have to choose because the thing that's for you is the one that's going to be flowing forward. So I think about when I was new into the beauty industry, and I would feel like, okay, I need to get a side job. And when I looked at the options for side jobs, it was nothing that I wanted to do. And before I could even find something or really uh, engage in, or even I think at, at times when I did sign up, before it was time for me to go in for an interview or get called or whatever, the salon would speed up. So it's like, I didn't even have time to entertain those things. So that's what I'm getting with this energy is that you don't have to make, you don't have to pick a side or make a choice, just rest in this moment. And when the ball starts rolling, you'll know the direction to go in because you'll, you can tell which one will be pulling you. You can tell it'll be so obvious because it's like everything is pulling you in that one direction is what I'm getting with this group. Group number one, I would love to know how you resonate with this message if you do. If you'd like to book a tarot card reading with me an, or a natal chart reading with me, or you'd like to check out my exclusive pick a card readings only on Patreon, the links for all of that is available in the description box below. Please let me know you're here with me by leaving me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, group number two. So the universe is preparing you for this. This, what is this exactly? So when it comes to group number two, you guys selected the black egg. And when it comes to what the universe is preparing you for, I feel like for this group, the universe is preparing you to be more... Um, what is it more committed when I say committed meaning that I'm getting for a lot of you guys who selected this group You might find yourself straddling the fence about something or even have spent your whole life pretty much straddling the fence and going back and forth on things and I feel like this could be so overwhelming and even exhausting at times because it's like damn I don't know which one to pick. I don't know which path to take I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm getting the feeling of confusion for some people. I'm getting the feeling of time going. And the more time that's gone by, it's like the less you, f the, the more you feel overwhelmed because it's like, damn, um, I have nothing to show for all this time is what some people might feel like in the process of going back and forth. Because with the going back and forth, when it comes to making up your mind about something, it's like you might put in some effort over here, put in some effort over here. But it, it, it's like not enough in any place for you to be able to see anything completely. And I feel like with the back and forth and not making up your mind, it's like, you know, it, it's like the universe doesn't know how to assist you because you have to commit uh, towards whatever it is that you would like to manifest. So when I see the black egg um, showing up, this black egg spirit energy brings me to the thought of being clear about what it is that we want in order to manifest. So when it comes to this group, I feel like you, you may have been struggling when it comes to manifestation because you can't get past the first stage. And the first stage is commitment, making up your mind and saying, this is what I want. This is what I want to experience. And, uh, the universe is preparing you, you know, 
to become a better manifester as you might find yourself looking around and feeling like, damn, it's not fair. How come some people make it look so easy, but I never tend to get what I want or I don't seem to get what I want. And I feel like, you know, if someone was to catch you off guard and ask you some questions, you might find that you don't even really know what it is that you want or you think you want so many different things that it's hard to commit and pick a path when it comes to what it is that you want exactly. And I honestly find that I think it's okay like to not know what we want because everything about our existence is a conditioning, is a programming. So all of the things that most of us want are things that we've been conditioned to want unless we take the time to do shadow work to really observe ourselves to find out like, you know, what makes us feel good, like what excites us and what's important to us as individuals. Um, when it comes to the Astro Dice, we have the number nine virgo the sun and neptune so when it comes to this group maybe you guys are struggling for when it comes to college some of you might be considering going back to school pursuing higher education um for yourself and it's like you don't know what path to take some of you may have went back to school in the past uh went to college but never finished your major or jumped around when it comes to majors or you did complete your major but at the same time, either you're unhappy working in that field or you're not even working in that field at all. With the Neptune energy there, I'm getting the feeling of, say, someone, um, you know, thinking about all of the great possibilities and being completely unrealistic about a path that they could take about what it is that they want to do exactly. And I, when I say unrealistic with the Neptune energy, I think about the different movies that we've watched or the different things we've come across. And from seeing those things, we have these movies or these uh, images in our head. We have these roles in our mind. And then we project onto these career paths and imagine ourselves um, with these different titles and things. But we haven't took that same, applied that same energy or time to imagine ourselves um, in the process. So when I say the process, meaning, you know, someone here might say, okay, I want to be a lawyer, but it's like the title of saying I'm a lawyer sounds great. But at the same time, can you live with the process? Can you deal with all that it entails is what I'm getting. Um, Virgo energy is here, uh, the sun along with Neptune and the number nine. So for some of you, maybe, um, some of you are thinking about publishing or writing your own book or publishing as far as creating your own blog or vlog on social media, putting yourself out there in some way where you're helping and being of service to humanity. And it's like, that's something that you might be considering or being in or, or is in, or is interested in, but at the same time, you're probably a bit all over the place as far as like, you know, the role, your role in it, how you'll go about, you know, doing what it is that you say that you want to do or the title associated with it. Um, what I'm picking up when it comes to this group is that, you know, how there's shame that a lot of us experience when it comes to certain paths, because the path that might be in your heart, um, let me ask you this and to ask yourself when it comes to the path that's in your heart, would you, would you, how do you, would your family, would your family or the people that you look up to and admire, what would they think about this path? Would they be proud of it or will there be certain level of shame? I find that when people are honest with themselves and they reflect on the path that's in their heart and ask themselves if the people they look up to would support it or there will be a level of shame, they find that um, if the people they look up to uh, don't support or wouldn't feel proud of that path, unknowingly, we tend to sabotage or keep redirecting ourselves from that path because deep down, it's not good enough for the people that we look up to. So if it's not good enough for the people we look up to, then it's not good enough for us. So, you know, that's something to consider the path that you might be, um, that might be in your heart. I think about the person who comes from a family of people who, um, might be big on scholastic education 
but at the same time, this person might want to be a tarot reader or some kind of a spiritual healer, a Reiki person, a Reiki healer. Um, but deep down, they know that if they were to bring that to their dad, who they really admire and look up to, you know, he might look at them as if they're crazy or they might feel a level of guilt. Like, you know, my parents did a lot to, for me to get here. So I can't just go be some kind of reader or some kind of this or some kind of that. It's like that kind of shame I'm getting when it comes to certain people. So because of that shame, it's like, you know, some might say, I want to pursue this path um, because this path is sociably celebrated. But at the same time, they're miserable when it comes to that path. And I feel like the universe is preparing um, preparing some, some of you by, you know, you keep going into certain career paths and keep feeling unfulfilled and, and keep feeling miserable when you have to just make up your mind and say, you know what, this is what I want for myself. And you got to do a little bit more than just saying, this is what you want for yourself. You got to even take it to the next level at, by imagine yourself living that role you know, imagine yourself fully submerging yourself into that lifestyle and completely being that person. I feel like the more you're able to visualize yourself, um, partaking in that lifestyle and, you know, living out that process is the more realistic it'll be for you. And the more you're able to manifest it. But again, you know, the universe will create opportunities for us to manifest it, but because of shame, we sabotage those things. I know for me, I experienced that for a while. It took me a long time to get to this point, you know, where I enjoy, I allow myself to enjoy something that I always enjoyed secretly. And now I do it publicly. So when it comes to this group, you know, the world card comes out dealing with what you're being prepared for. So you're being prepared for the world. And when I say being prepared for the world, you're being prepared to put yourself out in front of the world and being put, putting yourself in front of the world for some, it might be, you know, you creating that podcast, you creating that blog, you creating videos, uh, you know, being on YouTube, or for some of you, it might just be within your community because you're teaching something, because there's something about teaching something or just being of service to others. And the challenge is, you know, feeling like unfulfilled, like your wish is unfulfilled. And when I look at say this card and how this could tap into like feeling like wishes fulfilled, I look at say this, um, you know, this family together. And for some of you, it might feel like the path that you're choosing. It's almost like you, it's like choosing your path or the path that you're interested in might mean that, you know, you're going against say family, you're going against say what's important to you is what I'm getting. But I feel like all a part of that is, you know, all a part of your path, because I think of me and my struggles and now when I create content or even do my natal chart or tarot card readings, I, I find that what I struggled with is the same thing that others have struggled with also in their own way and how others want to put themselves in positions to pursue what's in their heart, but struggle because they don't want to disappoint people. So I feel like with this group, you've been through some things, but the things that you've been through are all beneficial in you doing the work that you're called to do. Um, when it comes to unexpected, you're going to make up your mind and pick a side instead of trying to juggle a bunch of things at once. And when it comes to say the blessings, when it comes to say the blessings, within all of this. To me, the blessings come down to say you coming to the realization that you don't have enough energy to take care of everyone until you can take care of yourself. Like you got to put yourself first and nurture yourself and make yourself strong before you can do that for others. So I think about the person who um, allows themselves to pursue what's in their heart and to pursue what's in their heart and go after it, even if it means losing people. And then from all of that, they turn around and they gain everything in the sense that sometimes with our family, they just need to know that whatever it is that we're pursuing, we'll be able to take care of ourselves and be independent. And sometimes it's not until they see that, okay, while, you know, 
you're actually doing well for yourself they understand why you had to pursue the path that you did and then they come on board and in, in, in a lot of cases i feel like in most cases the ones we love just want to know that we're able to take care of ourselves um, but with this energy, I'm getting the blessings is that you learning that like at the end of the day, you can't be everything to others. It's important for you to be everything to yourself. And then from being everything to yourself, you have the strength to turn around and be supportive, be of service and help others. But when it comes to this group, the universe is preparing you by say, you know, you struggling when it comes to certain paths or certain things you might be doing that you feel unfulfilled in, that you feel miserable in. The universe is preparing you because you're coming to the realization that I can't keep doing this. Um, life is so short, I need to do what's in my heart is how the universe is preparing you. So I think about how, you know, we go through friction, we go through, we go through challenges, we're annoyed and frustrated and from experiencing a lot of what it is that we don't want, is how we get to the root of what it is that we want. And for this group, that's how the universe is preparing you by making the things that you don't want or the things that annoy you so strong to the point that it is undeniable what you need to be doing with yourself or with your life. And with this black egg energy here, again, it brings me to it brings me to say making up your mind and being clear, making up your mind, being so clear to the point that you can you 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 know what it looks like in your mind and feel like to to participate in this thing that you want to create for yourself that you haven't allowed yourself to fully commit to yet group number two i would love to know how you resonate with this message if you do if you'd like to get a reading with me or check out my exclusive weekly pick a card readings on patreon the link to book a reading, a tarot or natal chart reading, or the link to check out Patreon are both in the description box below. Please let me know you're here with me by dropping me an orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello. So the universe is preparing you for this. What is this exactly that the universe is preparing you for? Um, when I looked at the cheetah energy, what I'm getting is um, I think about, say, a person who is a part of a group of friends or even a family environment. And um, I think of a person who's always the odd man out, the oddball, or the one that stands out, or the one that feels left out, or the one that feels uncomfortable. I'm imagining someone who feels different from the people that they surround themselves with, but at the same time wish they were a lot more like the people that they surround themselves with, because like being different, it's like, you know, it, it, it'll sound all cool and stuff when we talk about it. But in the moment of being the one that feels like, you know, you're making things hard because you choose to be different in that moment is so uncomfortable. It's so frustrating. It's so overwhelming. Um, when it comes to this group, I feel like the universe is preparing you to stand in your truth. The universe is, pre is preparing you to stand out and the universe is preparing you to stand out by you learning to be comfortable in situations where you don't fit in and realize that no matter how much you try to fit in, um, it won't make people like you because with some of you guys who selected this group, you know, some of you guys have experienced situations in the past where you try to put your guard down or put your wall down, or you try to interact or engage or participate in things that you normally wouldn't to make other people like you or accept you. And instead, I find that when people force themselves to be what they're not in certain situations, it makes them look a little corny. It makes them look a little corny in the sense like everybody can pick up because life is a big energy game and we can all read and pick up on energy, whether we're aware that that's what we're doing or not. So when I think of the person who goes out of their way to try to fit in when they don't to others, you know, it's read or felt as being fake. It's like this person is fake and it feels fake because it's like what a person is feeling on the inside and what they're actually doing, those energies are conflicting each other and others can feel it 
whether they're aware that they can feel it or not. They won't be able to put their finger on it, but they'll just know there's something that feels fake or corny about this person. So I think about those of you who can relate to being different and wanting to make other people feel comfortable with your differences. And the more you would try to fit in or make other people feel comfortable with you is the more um, you know, it'll actually create the opposite and people will actually look at you as if like, uh, you know, like, you know, the more you, it, it doesn't make things feel any better is what I'm getting. So just know that the universe is preparing you to stand out in a big way, um, preparing you to really, um, it's, it's almost like I think of the person who will be the face or the represent or the face of a thing. When I say the face of a thing, everybody here doesn't want to be on social media or, or be the face of uh, a thing in the world. But I think of like, say, the person at their job within their career who everybody looks to them or looks everybody looks to them and admires them for their uniqueness and the difference that they bring. Even in that situation, the person is a face of being authentic and, you know, in front of an audience, um, which is their coworkers and their peers. And of course, uh, other people are taking notes because in the process of, you know, a person being themselves, it gives other people permission to be themselves and from you being that person that says it's okay to be weird it's okay to be quirky it's okay to be different like it makes other people feel like you know like oh, so i don't have to try that hard it's okay that i'm different i don't i don't have to you know force things or try to buy the acceptance or love of others so something in the process of you learning this lesson is like other people benefit whether they're observing you in your personal environment or you know you're actually talking about it because you have a platform yourself but um not fitting in was a big thing i feel like for this group not fitting in had a hard time not fitting in struggling with not fitting in uh, may have been a big thing for this group. Um, when it comes to the astro dice energy, we have the number four Saturn, Cancer, and Venus. So something about the household or even how you support yourself, how you nurture yourself, you know, the things that you value, how you nurture yourself and even say restrictions where for some of you guys who selected this group, you guys might have a hard time nurturing yourself. And when I say hard time nurturing yourself, meaning for you, nurturing might be regular uh, high, hygienic self-care might be nurturing when in fact nurturing goes deeper than that. So because nurturing goes deeper than that, a lot of you are probably so good at dismissing whatever it is that you're feeling. Um, and with this Saturn energy here, I think of say someone growing up in an, a household or environment that was very strict, so strict to the point that your feelings didn't matter. This brings me to someone that I know um, that I used to know who was in the Marines. And from being in the Marines, this person learned to completely disregard their feelings. When I say, I mean their pain tolerance. Of course, feelings too, but pain tolerance. And I feel like just because we disregard what we're feeling doesn't mean that we're not feeling those things are happening within the surface. But the person was so good at disregarding their pain tolerance to where they actually had broken a bone and was sitting with it for so long um, before things, you know, developing a bad fever and things getting worse because they were so good at, um, you know, detaching from what it is that they're feeling where with this group, I'm getting a person detaching from their feelings and the word and hormones is coming up for whatever reason, where some might experience hormonal issues. And that ties back. That brings me back to like the, the sacral chakra, um, the womb area and how that deals with like, you know, not being a good nurture of self and in the process of not being a good nurture of self, then we don't fully, uh, we're, we're not able to even nurture others if we can't nurture ourselves. So this is where we might feel like we're doing things others should like, and it's not appreciated or received because, you know, that's something that others you know, that the other person might not like or might not want, but, you know, based on what we see, most people like that. Most people would want that. 
And I feel like with this group, maybe that same approach is applied to yourself where it's like, you know, it would be nice to get my nails done. It would be nice to buy this kind of bag or shoes because it's trending. Everybody normally likes it, but deep down it's like, no, you don't like it. That's not your style. That's not your thing. So we might say, oh, this is popular right now. I'm going to get this for this person. And they show no appreciation or they show appreciation, but it doesn't feel genuine because deep down, like that's not, that's not what they're into. That's not what they like. Um, and we didn't observe them properly to see um, what it is that they would like, what it is that they would need. So what I'm getting for this group, like say if there's a small few of you who are considering starting your own business or doing your own thing, in order for you to be successful at your business, you want to become a better nurturer of yourself. And from being a better nurturer of yourself, it'll help you to better nurture your business in the sense that when we're bad nurturers, we do what we think a thing needs and not pay attention to what it actually needs. So to me, I think of me with my plants where I'll just put them in a sunny position and think plants, sun, water, and give them sun and water them when I think only for them to die because maybe these plants need indirect sunlight and too much sun is stressful for them. And maybe they need to be watered every other week and watering them every week keeps this, uh, the, the roots too moist and that kills them. Whereas like I need to take my time and observe these, this plant so I can see exactly what it needs to thrive. Where with this group, if you're considering, you know, doing your own business or doing your own thing, that's where you'll have to step back and see, okay, this is what my audience needs or this is what my the, the people that are supporting my business, this is what they're gravitating to. This is what they're not gravitating to. But to me, it, for, it first starts with you. And the lovers in the reversal position ties into what we're being, you know, what you're being prepared for. So the lovers in the uh, reversal position, to me, being, being prepared to be a better, um, be better connected, being prepared for better people skills is what you're being prepared for because the more you're able to um, be empathetic with yourself, be a better nurturer to yourself, the more you will understand other people. The more patient you are with yourself, the more patient you will be with other people. But I feel like the universe is preparing you right now by developing your people skills. And some of the ways that your people skills might be getting developed might be, say, um, misunderstandings keep happening with others, different run-ins keep happening with others, and then this might force you to, you know, look look to look within yourself to see okay what can i do different or how can i respond different or how am i showing up that isn't beneficial or how do i need to show up different um is what i'm getting when it comes to say challenges we have the two of swords in the reversal position so a challenge might be say being undecided um being undecided might be a thing um, with a lot of you guys who selected this group. And I, and when I think of being undecided, I think of say a person afraid to make a decision because they don't want to miss out. And, you know, choosing not to make a decision is just as, you know, it's just as much as a choice as making a decision. Because when we choose to not make a decision, like we're wasting time, things are stagnant. You know, things are being held still, even though time keeps moving forward. So there is consequences to not making a decision sometimes when we're for when we need to make a decision. When it comes to what's unexpected um, for this group, things may slow down. Um, things may slow down or feel like they have kind of come to a sudden stop or 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 slow down so much to where it feels like it's coming to some kind of a sudden stop. And I feel like the slowing down of things is just a part of the cycle of life. It's just a part of life, the slowing down of things. But, you know, with things slowing down for you, with things slowing down for you when it comes to connections or what's happening around you, I feel like this is providing you some alone time for reflection. So you want to make the most of the free time that you will have on your hands or the free time that's, yeah, the free time that you'll have on your hands. Because with the free time, 
that's an opportunity to prepare. And when I say prepare, meaning to work on yourself in whatever ways you can work on yourself or to add value to your business in whatever ways you can. And what I'm getting is, you know, by learning different things to, you know, learning different things is the best way to make the most of the slowing down, learning different things about yourself, reflecting on, you know, reflecting on say the past few months on a whole and what it's been like and some things you can do to, you know, make the future better. Um, figure out, you know, reflect on relationships and connections and figure out based on those relationships and connections, how you can better show up for yourself and for the people around you. When it comes to blessings, to me, the blessings for this group is the fact that things have slowed down or yeah, that things are stagnant or appear to be stagnant. And some of you might be like, what the hell? How is that a blessing? I just want to move or do something. To me, that's a blessing because whenever we're unsure or unclear about where we're going next or we're unprepared, we end up wasting energy, time and resources because of the lack of clarity, because of the indecision. And when I look at, say, this group and, you know, becoming a better nurturer, I feel like if things are moving uh, fast, you know, people could be putting money and effort and time starting up or trying to push different things that don't really speak to your truth because, you know, you've never stopped to see what your truth is. So to me, things slowing down or appearing to feel stagnant, this is an opportunity for you to learn yourself. So a part of the preparation is the universe helping you to become a better student of yourself, the universe helping you to better learn yourself so that you can go for, you know, you can move towards the things that you really want, the things that speak to your heart, opposed to just doing things that make sense, but leaving you feeling unfulfilled and miserable at times. Group number three, I would love to know how you resonate with this message if you do. If you'd like to book a reading with me or check out my weekly exclusive pick a card readings and other content, the links for readings and to check out my content on Patreon are both in the description box below. Please let me know you're here with me by dropping me our yellow hearts in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.